Hey there, comic fans. This is Comic Fan with another Humble Haul. In this episode, I got a act of kindness, uh, visited some shops, went to the biggest mall show of the year in these parts, and a little disappointed. But uh, in all in all, at the end, I got a Grail book. Um, not from that show, but nonetheless, it's a Grail book. So uh, let's take a look at some books, shall we? Uh, before we do that, uh, I'm going to just show something I dug up from uh, from my boxes recently. It came across a little bit of nostalgia. A wizard number one. Uh, <laughs> this is something that was really cool back in the day. I'm sure we all remember that. But the first thing I did as soon as I found it again, I had to go to take a look at the wizard top ten. And uh, of course, you have you take a peek of that. Uh, see what was hot back in the day. Of course, the number one was um, X Force number one. Rob Liefeld was uh, the uh, the uh, disputed king back then. I wouldn't say undisputed because uh, you know let's let's uh, face the facts here. He for what he did back then, it was it was okay. On to the books. Uh, like I said, I got an act of kindness from my good friend um, Four Way Flashers. Four Way Flashers uh, pulled out held some books for me uh, that he knew I wanted and uh, did not disappoint. First thing he gave me was some good reading material. Uh, he gave me uh, We Stand on Guard, number one and two. With him being Canadian, he had to pass something on that was a little, um, I would find, controversial because uh, it was a war between the uh, Americans and Canadians. Now, there's no beef between me and Fourway, but, uh, you know, uh, this was not, uh, you know, this was uh, very straight and to the point. It was missing a couple of things here and there, but it was a very quick read, and that's what I like. Um, I, I'm definitely going to finish the storyline on that. Oh, along, along with that, he gave me some stuff that I, I uh, the artist that I like, uh, an inker, uh, Wally Wood. Uh, this was something I actually didn't know existed. Another uh, series of canon. Before that, I thought only there was only two books of canon that I that I realized. There's a whole series of canon, at least a series of eight books. This is number four of eight. Uh, a little risque for my taste, but um, some good Wally Wood work. There was some nudity in there. Not exactly my thing. Uh, I like Wally Wood. Not the whole nudity thing, but uh, a good book all in all. Uh, alongside that, uh, good artist, great artist. A Alien Worlds number two, um, featuring the art of Dave Stevens. Now, this is something really good because um, Dave Stevens actually did the inside, whereas nowadays most cover artists only do the cover and the rest of the book is crap. Uh, this was nice to see that uh, there's still some artists in there, some great artists that still do content inside the book. So by all means, uh, look past this cover and see the great, uh, great work that Dave Stevens has done inside. Uh, the one thing I'm most excited about, although it's not something spectacular, it's spectacular to me because I this issue actually finished a run. Uh, Fun and Games number thirteen. It's the last issue of the series. Uh, sorry to say, the according to this book, their second year has already begun. It also ended with this book. Uh, inside the book, they hint at number 14, issue number 14, being an all-female issue. Unfortunately, that never that never came and materialized. So um, this was something I was really excited about because it's something I don't uh, go straight to eBay on. I like to find them in the wild. It's so appreciative that Fortway found this in, in his local area and shipped them over to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I also went to my local French and Son, it's pretty well known around these parts, and I picked up two books there. The two books I picked up, The Chilling Adventures in Sorcery, number one, told by Sabrina. Uh, really great stuff, great Archie stuff. I'm, I'm starting to warm up to Archie for some reason. Uh, also, uh, a book... That I also already had. I already had the Chilling Adventures of Sorcery, but I thought these were in better condition than the ones I already had. A Uncanny X Men at the State Fair. This was a promotional book, and if you've seen my other videos, you know I'm very, very uh, thrilled to have 
promotional books. This was done by um, the Dallas Times Herald, which came with a uh, newspaper. Great stuff. Um, I visited a small show a while back. Came away with, these are also books I seem to be picking up quite regularly, uh, a whole set of Kingdom Come for a dollar each. Not bad, can't pass that up. Every time I find them for a dollar piece, I get great finds. I love uh, Alex Roth's work. He's a great story. To, uh, he just comes up with uh, great books and uh, he teams up with some really great writers. Mark Wade uh, really did well with that. Alongside with that, another couple of dollar finds at that show The Incredible Hulk, number 344. Spectacular uh, McFarlane work, although some people will disagree that McFarlane did some really weird stuff with uh, with the Hulk, such as the protruding eyebrow. Uh, that's great stuff, though. Can't wait to read it. I haven't read that one yet. Uh, and another Wally Wood uh, little series that I'm collecting, The World of Wood. This is number three or four, and I think I only need one more issue to complete that run. Uh, visited another show, not another show, a new store actually. Um, picked up a couple books. Man Called Nova number 12, which is really great condition, I love that. And uh, something I thought that was really cool, uh, Action Comics number 432, featuring the first and maybe the only appearance of this uh, new Toy Man here. This is the Toy Man I grew up with uh, watching in the uh, Super Friends TV show. And I'm really happy to find his first appearance. I wonder if he actually did any more appearances in the book. As far as I know, this is the only appearance uh, in comic books. So if you have any more information on that, I'd really appreciate it. And then comes the, uh, what most consider the biggest small show of the year in our parts. And I was a little disappointed. What I went in there, paid twenty dollars, came out spending about forty dollars. So uh, what it came out with wasn't bad. It's just I was a little disappointed. I came in with some money and finally just spent it and came home with some. So uh, with the books, I didn't do bad. Did too bad. Um, came away with some early GI Joes. A GI Joe number eleven which is the first appearance, I believe, of Doc and Snow Job. Can't be wrong. Can't go be disappointed with that. That's great. Uh, another couple more first appearances. G.I. Joe number 40 featuring the first appearance of Shipwreck and uh, Barbecue. I love those early appearances. Those are something I grew up with, collecting those toys and seeing them in comic books. It's nothing but nostalgia. I love it. Um... <clears throat> So, along with that, I came home with The Punisher, number one of the limited series, some really great uh, Mike Zeck work. It's the first time I've actually had this book. Now I can read the whole series, and uh, I'm very happy with that. Uh, my last $20 at that show was spent on something that I found a little not unique. It's just something I don't see every day. In Archie's Madhouse, number 36. The first appearance of uh, Sabrina's Cat Salem. And let's take a little peek at that. Some people haven't seen it. I'm more than happy to show it. There we are. Voila. The first appearance of Salem the Cat. There you go. Not a bad pickup for $20, uh, seeing on eBay how much this book goes for regularly. Goes for a little bit more than $20. <clears throat> Not a bad find. But like I said, I was hoping to uh, leave that show with something a little bit more. Not completely disappointed because the next stop I made, made it all worth it. If you haven't seen my last video, I went to a shop that had some books, obviously, <laughs> and I did very well at that at that shop. So they did have one book I didn't buy at the time, didn't have the cash for it, and I uh, decided to go back. So I went back for this book, tried to talk them down a little bit, wasn't having it, so 
Uh, I paid full price, but I said, you know what, I'll find whatever I can and add a couple books onto it. So uh, he agreed to that. And then that small bundle of books, I got to the amazing Spider-Man number 248. Uh, this came highly recommended actually in uh, Wizard Magazine as one of the top 50 stories to read at that time. I read it and uh, no, I wasn't disappointed. It's actually pretty good. I suggest you go and uh, take a look at that book yourself and see what you think about it. And also a new minutes number 18, uh, the first appearance of uh, Warlock, not Adam Warlock, but the Warlock in <clears throat> New Mutants. Uh, not a bad pickup, uh, but the book I was actually there to get was my girl book, an amazing Spider-Man number 50, first appearance of Kingpin. I figured that this would be an okay book to get now that the hype is all over with the Daredevil series on Netflix, and uh, yeah, apparently you can't get one cheap. So I, I paid a decent price for this. Of course, you can already see that there's a tape pull here and a missing piece right there. But all in all, I am happy with this book. A grail book shouldn't always have to be a high grade book. It's great. It's a grail book nonetheless, correct? <sighs> Very happy with this, this uh, haul. So uh, that's the end of my haul. And uh, I'm sure I'll be picking up more books sometime soon and i'm sure i'll have another video but until then this is comic fan and as always happy hunting we will see you later see you later bye